All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel here. We're going over the Detroit Pistons now as far as what moves I will make if I were Troy, Troy Weaver uh, this come, upcoming off season. Got a lot of choices to make. We've got a lot of free agents out there, and uh, a lot of people are putting together things and uh, videos about the players they would take in the draft and the moves they will make with the Detroit Pistons. And this is just my take here real quick. So uh, let's get started. We're taking a look at the current players on the roster and we're going to narrow this down and see the players that I would choose to keep. So starting off here, we're going to eliminate some players. First, we're going to start off with Rodney Magruder, free agent. Going to have him sign with another team, so he's out of the way. Luca Garza, free agent. I see him signing elsewhere as well. Hamadou Diallo. I see him signing somewhere as a free agent. Jamarco. Pickett, I see him going elsewhere as a free agent. Let me straighten these out a little bit here. I know this is a little unconventional, but uh, I'm just doing this on the fly here. Uh, so, yeah, you got Marvin Bagley, the third, and uh, we're going to say that he goes elsewhere as well. So, this is what we have left after the free agent movement for the Detroit Pistons. Now, let's move on here to uh, some players that we'll be making deals with. And the first deal we'll make will be sending Isaiah Stewart and a future draft pick and one of the upcoming drafts. We're not sure what year that's going to be, like 2024, 2025. 2027, along the lines like that. But uh, we're going to trade Isaiah Stewart over to the New York Knicks. Where you at, Isaiah Stewart? Trade him over to the New York Knicks. And in place of Isaiah Stewart, we're going to wind up picking up shooting guard Emmanuel quickly. And we're going to wind up picking up Jericho Sims as the power for young power for. Um, I like what I see with Emmanuel quickly. It's just something about him that says he should be a Detroit Piston. And uh, Jericho Sims follows the youth movement with the Detroit Pistons and the young roster. And uh, I think he could come in and get a few points in some of the games and give you some rebounding as well. So uh, that's one of the deals that I will make. And moving on, another deal we make, we will take Kelly O'Lennon and Jeremy Grant. Take them out of the equation. And we'll be making a deal with the Phoenix Suns. So the Phoenix will get Kelly Olenek, Jeremy Grant, uh, two future first round picks in exchange for Mikhail Bridges. And the numbers that are written down are the salaries. I figured out where the salary cap will work with this as well. Uh, so we get Mikael Bridges from the Phoenix Suns. He's a free agent. Well, no, I take that back. I take that back. It's not a free agent. But uh, I'll see them making a trade. That's what I would do, make a trade. And bring in Mikael Bridges. Also from the Phoenix Suns, I get a journeyman. This is some toughness that the Pistons have been lacking for a few years now. I will be bringing in Jay Crowder. Get out of the way, pencil. I'll be bringing in Jay Crowder. 
You just need some toughness on this team with these young players. Um, and also, Torrey Craig. I'll be bringing Torrey Craig in as well. Um, Torrey Craig is a player I believe the Pistons should have made a move on uh, some time ago when they acquired Jeremy Grant and Mason Plumley. I think he was the third cog in the wheel. That would have helped them out and uh, wouldn't have set them back as much as far as wins and whatnot are concerned. So um, I'm a fan favorite of him. He could provide you some offense as well as some defense out there. Moving on. Another trade that I will make, and I figure you can do something with uh, Corey Joseph and sign and trade. Um, so we're going to have Corey Joseph out, and we're going to have Killian Hayes out, and we'll be trading those guys to New Orleans. And we pick up Larry Nance Jr. I say Larry Nance Jr. because I do believe that uh, we haven't seen the best from him yet. He's been in the league for a few seasons and been bouncing around a lot. But um, if he turns out to be anything like his dad, it's be a steal for the Detroit Pistons. Now moving on, as far as free agents are concerned, there's a couple free agents stick out to me. And one I'm a big advocate of for the Detroit Pistons is Yusuf Nurkic out of Portland. I mean, he gives you a true center, uh, not a power forward playing center, but he gives you a true center in the paint that can score, uh, defend the rim, and uh, get you some size in the paint there. So that is... Uh, one of the free agents I would go with. And the other free agent I would go with would be Dante DiVincenzo from Sacramento. Yeah, he broke our hearts when he was playing uh, uh, in college when they played, I think it was Michigan or Michigan State in the national championship game. And uh, he hit a few daggers and kind of showed out against us. But... Um, I like him as a shooting guard for the Pistons. I think that would uh, uh, help them out and, and, and give us a deeper bench. Now moving on to the draft, as far as the draft is concerned. And I do appreciate you watching. I mean, this is just a different setup for me right here. I'm kind of doing this one on the fly here. Uh, so as far as the draft is concerned, I'm seeing the Pistons. I will take uh, Paolo Banchero. Uh, out of Duke. No, we have him listed as a, a forward, but uh, he could be interchangeable as forward and we got to play center sometimes when needed as well. Uh, another pick I will have would be Drew Peterson, a shooting guard out of uh, USC. He can light it up and uh, I can see him and Cade in the backcourt together. I mean, that'd be a great, great combo. Moving on, another pick in the draft would be Bryce Fowler, shooting guard, pretty accurate shooting guard out of uh, Sacramento State University. So this is what my 2022-2023 Detroit Pistons um, roster would look like. Now, as far as the starting lineup is concerned, um, my starting lineup will consist of Kate Cunningham. Let's move these out of the way here so we can get this done the right way. Um, so Kate Cunningham will be starting at the point guard position. And Emmanuel Quickly would be the starting shooting guard. At center would be Yusuf Nurkic. At the small forward would be Sadiq Bey. And at the power forward position, we'll use Mikael Bridges um, at the power forward position. So that would be what our starting lineup would look like. 
uh, as far as the bench is concerned bench players our second unit second unit would be Carson Edwards I'd say keep him uh, there was a lot of talk going on about um, acquiring or signing um, Jalen Bronson out of uh, from the Dallas Mavericks and free agency but seeing how they're doing in the playoffs I don't think that's gonna happen and besides Carson Edwards was a hot prospect when he came into the league with the Boston Celtics so um, I'll say we have our version of Jalen Bronson and Carson Edwards uh, shooting guard shooting guards Drew Peterson the rookie out of USC I mean, these guys, are, he's, he's, he's a sharpshooter. He's deadly, and he's in, he's big, too. I mean, Peterson is a, listed at 6'9", 194 pounds as a shooting guard. That's a that's a big shooting guard right there. Um, also, on the second unit, Paolo Bonchero. We'll move him to the center position, and uh, I know he's listed as a forward, but we can interchange him, like I said, and we'll use him at the center position with the second unit. Uh, Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder will be part of the second unit as well. Like I said, he has a toughness to this team that's been missing since the days of uh, Rick Mahorn and Bill Lambeer and Rasheed Wallace and Ben Wallace. So, um, like I said, I think that will be a great pickup uh, for the Detroit Pistons as far as the trade is concerned. And rounding out the second unit is a player who uh, is going into a, uh, I think a second season in the league, second or third season in the league. But Isaiah Livers, uh, we saw him coming on a little bit in the few games that he played last season, and uh, I think he's going to develop into something special for the Detroit Pistons. I'm just, I'm so excited that we finally picked up some homegrown talent on this team without them being at the end of their career. Uh, so. That's my take right there. And um, yeah, outside of those guys, the start lineup in the second unit, uh, you still got Frank Jackson available coming off the bench, whom I believe is actually going to uh, find his foot. And I was very impressed with him. I'm not high on Duke players for the Pistons, but Frank Jackson is, uh, you know, he's, he's looking like he's going to change that for me. And, and the few times he did get out there, I like what I saw with him. Uh, hold over from the old roster is Saban Lee, the uh, point guard. Uh, he's going to get it together, folks. I mean, he could be our version of Jordan Poole um, of the Golden State Warriors. Uh, Bryce Fowler, like I said, from him, he could light it up. He'd be coming off the bench as a, as a shooting guard. Um, Torrey Craig. Torrey Craig could also be part of that second unit. But uh, yeah, he's gonna provide. Uh, he can provide offense if he has to. But you know, he's just he's a workhorse to me. So um, yeah, we'll have him coming off the bench along with uh, Larry Nance Jr., Dante DiVincenzo, whom was also uh, the same as Tory Craig. He could be inserted into the second unit as well and be successful. And uh, rounding out. Our bench players will be Jericho Sam's uh, uh, power forward, and you could possibly use him as center at times as well. And like I said, this video is a little unconventional. I mean, you know, I just did what I could right now with what I had and where I'm at. So let me know what you think in the comment section and, um, you know, what this roster, how it works out, or would you interchange anyone? Would you keep players that I got rid of or, um, would you get rid of some players that have decided to keep? And like I said before, this gets them under the salary cap. I think the salary cap is like 130 million next year, next season. Um, this puts them at 125 million five hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred and ten dollars um, up under the salary cap. And I think this roster would be, you know, the start of something big in maybe a couple years. Uh, you know, maybe a couple of seasons or maybe next season you add someone, maybe make a trade in season to uh, make it better. But, you know, I see us covering a lot of ground that we needed to cover in the area of getting uh, 
like I said, shooting guard in here. Uh, uh, Nurkic is the center that we need, and I mean, that's going to take care of a lot of the, the, the issues that we have as a team. You know, we won't have the opposition just walking in, making layups on us, and and you also have someone that could score in, in, in the paint. And Mikael Bridges, we all know what he brings to the table. Um, Bonchero, you know, we're going to get from Bonchero. Like I said, I'm not big on Duke players, but, you know, I'm not stupid either. So, you know, you got to take Bonchero if you could take him. Um, Jay Crowder and Torrey Craig adds a toughness to this team that uh, we haven't seen in a while. Livers, I'm happy with Livers and the way he's coming, you know, the way he's coming along. Of course, Cade Cunningham is going to do his thing. Uh, Bay is going to do his thing as well. Um, let's fix this up here. Uh, quickly, is going to, I think he's going to strive here. Like I say, there's something about him that's, that reeks that he should be a Detroit Piston. And um, uh, Drew Peterson, she shoot the lights out. And uh, Carson Edwards to be a point guard. Got some true point guards on there. Take a lot of pressure off of uh, Kate cutting in. So, like I said, let me know what you think. Um, look for more of these to come. This is just part one of uh, trying to get the Pistons up under the salary cap for next season. Remember to like, share, subscribe. And uh, for some of these rookies on here, for the rookies on here, uh, I mean, Banchero, he's pretty much. Uh, Everyone should have seen him already with Duke, but the other ones are not as high profile. Drew Peterson and Bryce Fowler. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description and uh, put a, a video link at the end so you can take a look at some of their highlights and see what you'll be getting from those guys. Anyway, I appreciate you checking this out. Um, got a couple more of these coming. There'll be a little uh, more form form. Uh, not formidable. They'll be a little more formal than this one here. So, uh, but I just threw this one together real quick. Anyway, you guys, take care. Go Pistons. Thank you.